I would like to reply to a question regarding the fact of practicing different exercises or sometimes combining even different systems. I'm talking about, of course, Qigong and Qigong system to grow in the energy practice. Uh, this is something that even uh, my students sometimes do. I find out later that they are doing other stuff. Some of them, they are shamed like kids, but I think this, they shouldn't be like this. Everybody should do whatever they want. And uh, uh, if they feel that something is worth to do, um, please go ahead, you know, do it. If it brings some kind of benefit, even myself, I've acquired some other practices from uh, other systems. Uh, to target specific things that I want to deal uh, uh, with my body. But in general, should I do 1,000 practices and study and research and try a different system of one? Well, I would say do one. Do one, but do it well. Um, I think there is one um, common problem, that it is scratching the surface of many different places, but never go deeper. And uh, the only way that we can go deeper into the kind of discipline that uh, we are doing here is to practice. There's no way that you learn a system or you just look at the program. Sometimes you have these people looking at the problem and they say, oh, I understand already. Um, you have to actually practice it. You have to see uh, the progression, uh, what brings in terms of result. Um, that's the only way to understand actually what can bring in our um, life in terms of uh, achievements in the energy practice, in the Qigong practice. Um, doing different things, um, it's scattering ourselves amongst different possibilities and uh, not really understand which one of them is working actually and unfortunately due to the fact that we are in the modern era of technology and isolation, everybody just you know go on one website, buy one program starts to do something, then, you know, reads on the forum or whatever that there is another practice, cooler, faster, uh, more powerful, so it goes on the other website to buy the program, and then it starts to do everything on its own, it doesn't even know, or she doesn't even know what's happening, whether uh, some results are really there, or it just stays on the surface. One day I do this, next day I do the other thing, next day I try something intuitively, and this is really a mess. So, uh, when you do thousand things, you do thousand things bad, in my opinion. When you do one thing, you become ninja on it, which means you go very deep, you become very good at it. And uh, my suggestion is, I know that it's a little bit counterintuitive, it's no, not studying anything intellectually, no studying meridians, no studying acupuncture point, no studying traditions, no studying lineages. If you are lucky enough to have found a system that uh, is proving to you through the masters that there are certain achievements and maybe you go and meet them and you see for yourself that there's no some kind of magic in the video um, then you just go ahead you put the trust in that person and hopefully which is something that i found out is not that common you also build a relationship with the teacher a personal relationship unfortunately as i said before this is the era of isolation so everybody's doing things on their own there's no connection with the masters i'm quite surprised to find out this, sometimes you have a group chat or things like this. Uh, you never actually have the possibility of, not never, but very few cases, you know, to actually uh, bring your experiences, share doubts and things like this, which in my case I do, not because I'm special, but just because I believe that uh, it's the right way to do it, having less people, but uh, relatively less people, but you know, to be there uh, when it is needed. So uh, even my, <laughs> some of my students, even advanced students actually, I found out later uh, just, you know, sometimes you go on Facebook because you have to do something, you post something, whatever, and uh, you see that they are practicing other stuff and they don't tell you because sometimes we are very childish about uh, this whole matter. Um, we should understand that uh, we are human beings and we are doing uh, this kind of practices for our personal growth, hopefully, not just to achieve some uh, uh, silly superpower, I call them, so some external abilities that make us special or anything like this. Um, so, and this goes back to the two polarity, let's say, decision. One thousand thing or one thing? Well, usually people that go into one thousand direction, 
<coughs> are very childish in the sense that uh, or unfortunately people that find that something is not working they go in the other direction but usually this kind of people will find out that something is actually not able to bring the result that they wanted they've tried one thing go all the way you get to the end now you say okay this system was able to take me from here to here if i want to go from there to another point i have to look for something else so that's another case but most people um, because we are very intellectual human beings and qigong and qi is a quite ab abstract concept for many people because they're not able to demonstrate it or to take it to a very high degree um, most people go into it in a very childish way by going into forums, readings and uh, getting inspiration about this and that and, uh, and they start to do some exercises and they start to imagine they start to feel a little bit of warm or tingling or whatever and they uh, move around in this way or maybe they see these videos of people uh, you know moving other people outside which is it's not an advanced process we have it in the basic program as a one chi playing with energies anyway let me know let me go back to this so we um, we have this kind of approach which is quite childish and uh, um, while on one end people who choose one way usually uh, and they go all the way they understand that it's not just about uh, to grow vital energy it's actually transforming yourself in all your aspects physical mental emotional and possibly have that jump into something else beyond what we can talk about but for most people it's an entertainment it's just it's a childish entertainment it's like a dream you know life is ugly life is not magical whatever let me go into this it's quite mystical i can try this system i can try the other system unfortunately these people sooner or later they give up because they have no result because they have no teacher they have nobody actually they can talk to to understand what this thing is really about uh, at some point they just you know say oh it's not working or this thing doesn't exist uh, or they just give up so um, just to give you my point of view um, sometimes you even have a third category I think of people where people are very goal, my, um, goal oriented into this maybe they saw some chi demonstration and they want to go like powerfully and grow faster and they have no patience you know to uh, practice you know 18 months to move to the advanced programs in our case for instance you need first nine programs take 18 months before you're able to do the next ad advanced the first advanced program which is already you know a very another level but you have this kind of people who are very goal oriented who uh, are impatient goal driven and that's the unfortunate uh, consequence of this uh, isolated approach uh, that we have in life uh, because we see everything as I want to have it I want to acquire it while in the past you go you meet the teacher if the teacher tells you you know stay a couple of nights sleep outside so maybe you change your mind a little bit about a few things uh, <laughs> which is is part of actually growing you know? uh, so you have these people who want to practice uh, uh, very esoteric and very advanced things and they're even willing to pay uh, like thousands and thousands of euros to go and meet the masters and having some kind of amazing treatment which let's understand it is gonna help us for a little bit but then it's gonna bring us back so only the practice could uh, help us actually to move forward but unfortunately on the web there are people selling this kind of idea that you just take the magic pill somebody's gonna do the work for you and you just you know you're there I don't believe in that. I think that the best way is to grow uh, slower, so to speak. Have a little bit of help once in a while, but you know, you do the work, it's more solid, it's more consistent, it's gonna last, I think. And it's not gonna screw up anybody, I think. So uh, this third category of people are the weird ones for me, are the, the ones that usually I push them away when the, um, uh, they're not even interested in building a, a transparent relationship with the teacher they just want to have the superpower stuff and because I want to have my clean life I say okay, okay maybe in a nice way I make my point clear they decide you know this guy is not for me um, but these people will be actually the ones growing slower because they don't understand that the best approach 
to <laughs> go about this growing vital energy is uh, getting rid of your mind completely. And on the next video that I'm gonna film, I'm gonna uh, try to go deeper into this, not to make this video too long. Uh, if there is one secret, I think there are two secrets. One secret, usually my teacher was used to say all the time, just practice, 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 that's it. Don't read, just practice, practice. If you have something that works, you'll find your answer with your teacher, you can validate. The second secret that I will add it myself is get to a state of no mind, uh, no goals, no movement, and the vital energy is going to grow faster. It's gonna, the energy is going to flow in, 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 in the body because the so-called meditative state, which is not an individual state, um, it's the best state. And just to give you a very simple example, when our mind is full of thoughts, the body is contracted, which means stiff, there's no flow. When we are relaxed, which is what we try to do with Qigong or Nei Gong, whatever, there is flow. Of course, we have to put the work in there. And it's not that the body becomes like empty and, uh, and fluffy. <laughs> and another kind of strength is going to fill up that, um, that relaxation. So these goal-driven people, they will actually, for as much as they try, uh, they could put hours of work, and they might grow slower than somebody who has already understood that this is not really important. I'm doing it because I'm, I'm doing it. It's good for my body, it's good for my health or whatever. I'm, it's good. I like it. It reson resonates with me. And when they sit, they sit to practice and to connect with something greater than themselves. While there are these goal-oriented people, that category, they stay there and they want to do And this obstructs the process of actually growing. And uh, if there is some growth, which of course if they do something that works at some point, slower, uh, something will be there, uh, it's not going to be good uh, for, their, for their life, in my opinion. Even though they can do chemistry, they can talk all the mechanics and all the fancy stuff about this stuff, uh, something will be missing. And if your mind is troubled by emotions, thoughts and a sense of identity, uh, I think you can fly to the moon and you will still be miserable. So, uh, actually, if you want to grow faster, don't think about growing, just do it and be detached by the results. Um, and just to sum it up, if you want to really understand if something is really working, pick one method, go all the way. Before you start, be skeptical maybe, talk with the teacher, see how it works, uh, try to understand if there is a, a practical man um, demonstration of, of what the teacher is talking about, uh, and just go for it. And if something works, very soon you will see something happening. It's not going to be intellectual concept that you know, can be thrown out there, can hypnotize people thinking that we are very knowledgeable about stuff, but this is what it is. So I hope that it was somehow interesting, this video. Don't do one thousand things, do one thing. If you want to grow faster, don't think about this. Just be humble, practice and uh, be open. Be open uh, because something bigger could, be, could, could take place and this is going to speed up the process, speed up the process of your vital energy growth.